We are back with Dr. Chloe Zeltman, physical therapist, doctor of physical therapy here at Atlantic Health System, home of Atlantic Sports Health. And we're talking about blood flow modification, more specifically known as blood flow restriction. In our previous segment, we talked about this science and how it's used and how it works. Today, we're going to try it on me, right? Yep. So, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So, okay, you, great. we're going to put that armband, right? We're going to restrict my, my bicep. Correct. We're actually just, it's not necessarily the bicep. It's just restricting as close as we can, kind of to your chest, just so we get all those big arteries. Okay. Good. It should feel relatively tight. Sorry. Yep, that's okay. Good. Good, it matches. Yep. Good. And let me just move this over so I can see it. All right. So we here at Atlantic Health use the Katsu machine. So it's one of the first FDA approved blood flow restriction machines out on the market. And um, we like to use it here because it's mostly for safety purposes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of blood flow restriction products on the market. Um, most of them are not FDA approved. The Katsu and the Delphi unit are probably the best ones out there. They will cost you a decent amount of money. However, that's why um, most medical facilities will have them. Not mm. really, not many people just go out and buy these machines kind of thing. But it's mostly for safety just because a lot of products out there, um, people don't know the science behind it. They don't know how to use it. So they could actually be hurting themselves or their clients. So sure. just make sure if you guys are going to use some systems like that, you work with a medical professional and you want to use like FDA approved equipment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to target your arm. Okay. So the normal working period is 15 minutes. We'll obviously go as long as we can. And all you're gonna do is work for 30 seconds, you're gonna do some bicep curls, and then it, you're gonna rest for 10 seconds. Okay. Okay? Yep. So I'm just gonna kinda get on the unit, we're gonna check your baseline, make sure everything looks okay. So we just checked the baseline measures, everything looks good. So the way that the Katsu functions is they have everything in their arbitrary Katsu units, which does equate to a blood pressure, it's it's just a conversion tool that they've used over time. So okay. we're gonna actually pump you up to 300 units. And we're gonna start, are you ready? Yep. Perfect. Okay, so it's gonna blow it up a little bit. Once the time starts, you can go ahead and bicep curl. Perfect. We're gonna work for 30 seconds. You're gonna start to kinda, you shouldn't feel anything now necessarily except for pressure. Yep. As we do more reps, you'll start to feel like kinda that fatiguing factor. You might see some color changes in the skin just because we are putting a little bit of compression and trying to basically prevent that venous backflow. You might see the, the veins start to pop a little bit more. You might see the limb turn a little red. That's all very normal. And you can take a break. Good. And then what you want to do throughout is just a little capillary refill test. So you pinch, it stays white for less than three seconds. Perfect. And what happens if it doesn't If stay it away? doesn't, that means we're occluding too much. There's not enough perfusion in the limb. We stop, we back up, gotcha. everything okay. like that. All right, go ahead and start again. Another 30 seconds. And you don't have to just do one exercise. You can do multiple exercises. You know, we're obviously sitting down, so we're limited in what we can do. But the nice thing about the Katsu unit too is you can actually disengage it and still maintain that uh, that pressure. Yep. And that way you could do push-ups, you can do anything really underneath the sun. Is it normally 30 on, 30 off? Uh, 30 on, and I like to do 15 seconds. Gotcha. Good, take a break, that was 30 seconds. Okay. How are we feeling? Good, I'm feeling pumped. Good, wonderful. Check that capillary refill, goes away, perfect. Give it another five seconds, and you can go again. Good, perfect. And again, we like these machines because they do have built-in checks and balances. You know, it will not, this machine physically will not let your arterial su supply to be completely occluded. Um, and if it does, it has built-in safety mechanisms like fast deflate systems, stuff like that, that keep it safe so there's no harm on yeah. your part of the patient. Get a nice burn now. You definitely, nice, yep. Nice burn with five pounds. Yep, and we're just Incredible. doing, we're only seven, not even, what do we start at, 15? We're only yeah. like two minutes in. So yeah. again, you feel that muscle fatigue that wow. you would if yeah. you were actually working out. Good, give wow. it another 10 seconds or so. Feeling yeah. Okay? Oh no, it's it's an incredible pump. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Yeah. 
good. And again, you do the 15 minutes. Yeah. It's a long wow. time. And I, you could you could do this, I would say, towards the end of your routine. If you were working out and it wasn't necessarily for rehab purposes, yeah. um, you would do your normal routine, your heavy lifts. You don't necessarily want to do your heavy right. lifts with this. Right. This right. is more isolated, sure. sh you know, more, more safe kind of exercises. So save your last like three exercises, four exercises in your in your routine during this 15 minute period and you'll definitely find some good results with that. Well, I gotta tell you, just with five pounds, three sets of, you know, 10 reps yeah, or so. Just do body weight from it now. Was, it was just, in, it's incredible. And obviously my joints are very safe mm -hmm. uh, because I'm using very lightweight. Yeah. And from a rehab standpoint, just an incredible modality. Right. Incredible. Exactly. Like say somebody just had. Yeah, I'm feeling such an incredible pump right now with no weight. Yeah. I mean. You can take a break after another. Yeah. yeah. It's say like you had rotator cuff surgery, right? right? You right. you really restricted in the beginning. You're stuck in that brace for those first six weeks or so. This is so, as long as you don't have any bicep involvement or anything yeah. like that, you could just pump this up. It's totally safe. Do bicep curls, and just maintain that strength. So by the time you can finally progress to the next stage of rehab safely and yeah. start doing some more, you you haven't lost any of that strength to begin with. Incredible stuff. So. Obviously, you have this here at Atlantic Health, Correct. the physical therapy, and I would assume most of your more progressive therapies would have this modality. Correct. Correct. A lot of our, our doctors, we've given a couple presentations, and most of them are pretty up to date with their research, which is really nice. They know the benefits of it, yep. and they trust it, and like I said, we educated them on the system and showed them you know, the safety factors from it, um, and they, re they refer down to us, and it's great. Wow. Understanding blood flow restriction. I got to tell you, I am really I'll give pumped you a up. Break, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. So very, very informative. Yes. Really appreciate you being on. No problem. And it's great for our audience to be familiar with the latest, most cutting edge technologies great. for rehab and training. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.